I've just stepped out of the trailer and I love it when you park up somewhere in the dark and then you wake up and you're like, ah, this is where I am. There are beautiful, beautiful purple flowers all over the ground. So that is the liaison um, for fuel. So I'm gonna be going straight there. And then the start of the special stage whoo, is about 3K from here. It's about to get very, very, very real. Um, but for now, I'm gonna do the most ladylike thing and go and try and find somewhere suitable to dig a little bit of a hole. Yeah, turn the camera off for that. breakfast time. The amount of calories you need is mental. I'm eating like two, just over two and a half pounds what I'd normally eat for breakfast. Hmm. Oh, I finished that. to see you. You ride good yesterday on the prologue? I think so. I made some good mistakes. Everybody but did. It turned out all right. So I'm pleased. I just uh, I gotta keep going. And not need you. <laughs> I only want to see you in the bar. In the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna explain the start line today. We're still delayed. It's looking like 1045 is gonna be the first bikes off the line. It should have been nine o'clock. So it's quite a warm one standing on a beach, but right here is the start line. And we are starting 10 bikes wide, kind of like elbows up style. And we have a 25 kilometer straight down the beach. You've got the ocean on one side. I think it's gonna be a case of who's got the biggest balls as who's gonna go the fastest to get ahead before they turn off. Justin is confirming that he has the biggest balls, apparently. We will see that in the rankings. Watch his little dot on the tracker. Um, yeah, who can get ahead? to then be in front of their group of 10 by the time they come off the beach and turn inland and off into the tracks in the desert. There's going to be a lot of spray, a lot of sand. Uh, I have no idea what Vanessa's going to do. Uh, I kind of, my gut says I want to like hold back and just let them do their little show and then try and maybe pick them off later with some steady navigation. But who knows? The little uh, red smoke might come up. I might go fast. We'll find out. I'll have my uh, camera on. First bikes are about to go off the line.
My foot was under the... Oh, here. Okay. Shit. Take a short rest. Yeah, thank you. died in the desert yet. Uh, whew, it's pretty hard going out there. It's rocky. Oh, sandwich is ready. Oh, you hero. Thank you. You're mm. welcome. Okay, I'm at that point in uh, day two where I'm wondering how on earth we do this for eight days. But I'll figure that out tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. Ah, it's really intense. Just so rocky. I look forward to getting some sand because at least then kind of flows and you're not constantly being bubbled about. But guys, bum sandwiches are doing the spot right now. I uh, wish I had, continuing the toilet story that we've had kind of all morning, I wish I had a pipe like Justin. I've needed to pee for about 120 miles. It's really awkward having a full bladder on a bumpy motorbike because you feel like you're gonna pee yourself. It's very glamorous rally driving, honestly. Go past. Right, big buddy, you okay? Right, a bit bent there. We're okay. Right, so that's how far off the track we're. Just from. Okay, that's moved. Leave it moved, but I can use you. Right, Vanessa's okay. Bump my elbow, bump my hip. Oh my, I'm still alive. It is really hot. I am done for the day. Thank goodness. Just refueling. I need to take some kit off. I have something cold. I'm hot. There we go. Quite number one in the desert. But it's a really weird cry because I'm actually fine. I think it's just like an emotional, I made it to the finish line <laughs> of day two. And then there's a whole overwhelming of the fact that this is only day two. And we have another days. Golly, it was rocky today. That bike is epic, right? I need to get some kit off. <laughs> oh. How 
going to feel so good. I'm getting so wet, but I just don't care. <laughs> setting up my little den for the night. Uh, I've got my favorite fluffy blanket sheet. The sun is going down behind us. Well, it will be in a couple of hours. Uh, the last people are still coming in now. And I am feeling really good. I've had some protein shakes, some beef jerky. I've had a recovery tailwind pack and I'm just getting sleeping bags and stuff out to make my bed. It's uh, pretty warm now, but by the time the sun goes down and I get in, I'm anticipating it to be quite cold. So I've got a warm Van Gogh sleeping bag, my fluffy blanket, a second sleeping bag if it's cold enough, and then I'm getting my cosmetics and stuff out and ready so that I've got all that for when the sun goes down. I'm gonna get my head torch, um, dinner, road work, rally admin. Hello! Chicken! Yes, please! Yay! Oreo cheesecake. So hopefully you can hear me. I've just had dinner and we've done our briefing. First bike is off the line at 7.30 tomorrow. We've just got about 405 kilometer special stage tomorrow. So actually longer than today, but it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty epic stage. They all are. It's just different variations on fast and stones and sand and yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, I'm just walking back down the bivouac. So this is what the bivouac's looking like, where I am right now. And I'm gonna get this on my foot. I haven't showed you my foot. Let's uh, go in the light and I'll show you my foot. There you go. It's uh, coming out in a really nice color. That was actually, um, I'm gonna blame you lot. I'm gonna blame you lot for that because I uh, basically the camera on my handlebar was like properly flopping around wobbling and I was like okay I'm gonna have to stop I put it in my bag before I lose it so I pulled over off the side of the track kind of misjudged coming off the edge of the track and kind of stopped right by the top of a step but didn't stop went off the front tire with my step wobbled fell to the right basically stationary and the handlebar went bam right on my foot and yeah now I've got a really bruised foot but thankfully it doesn't seem to be broken so I've just got back to the Desert Rose Camp. That is Desert Rose Camp. My tent is out back over there in the dark. So I'm gonna say my good nights and then we'll go get in the tent. Um, it is expected to be 44 degrees tomorrow. 40 degrees in the shade, 44 plus degrees in the sun and then the desert obviously it intensifies. So, uh, Gert has recommended that even the motorbikes work out how to carry more than the mandatory three litres of water. So I've popped in two Camelbacks into my Moscow bag, which means I've got the three litre and an extra one and a half litres of water with tailwind electrolytes in it. So that makes four and a half litres just to be a little bit more cautious. Um, I'm going to get myself to sleep and Try not to sweat too much because it is absolutely boiling in this tent. Um, it's boiling. There is no breeze either, so it's going to be a warm night. See you in the morning. There's an update on my foot this morning. It's um, uh, looking sexy, really. That's all I can say. Hopefully, it's not hurting too much. But it does look pretty ridiculous. Uh, sorry for, I just changed cameras and mics. Um, it's all a bit of a juggle when you're in a tent in the desert. But that's my foot update, it feels fine. Yeah, how did it happen? Did I tell you how it happened? I dropped it by the bike. Good morning. Hoping this microphone's gonna be good enough quality. 
Um, you can hear I've got a little bit of a raspy throat this morning, something I've had before rallying, so I've got a strep salt in my mouth right now, so hopefully you can also hear me talk with a sweet. Um, I didn't sleep all that great. It was really noisy with all the generators, and it was so hot I slept with the side of my tent open, so I kept waking up, freaking out that someone was stood in a cape doorway or something, because I was also naked. Um, once I put my t-shirt on, um, I slept a bit better because I wasn't freaking out about maybe being seen with this thing flapping open, uh, even though it was hotter. Anyway, it's all a learning curve. Um, I freak out when I'm naked in a tent with the door open. Who would have thought? Um, I'll just put some wall paint on. Not required, but I like my mascara. I'm going to get some clothes on. Get out of the tent. I made lunch stop, which means I'm over halfway today. Um, 234 k down. Sorry, no table manners in rally. Eat with a mouthful. Um, fast stage, really fast stage. But nav seems pretty solid. I had one little uh, screw up that cost like maybe a minute, and then yeah, all okay. good. I was gonna keep going. I'm feeling alright, body feels good. Body feels even better. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down and just try and be uh, keep some energy. <coughs> but I'm doing good. <coughs> mm. Thank you everyone!
Right, Vanessa, you're okay. Right, camera's ripped, camera's broken. <sighs> okay, I'm all right. I get back on the bike. <sighs> I'm winded really badly though. Right, I'm on. <laughs> Oh, but I've got a bit of internal lower gut pain. I've just been from poo. This is the video of Vanessa talking about toilet stuff. Um, I'm hydrating, I'm drinking my protein thing. But my, just kind of my guts hurt. So Joe's just decided to go and just get the medic to come check me out. Because I do have a mark on my belly. I'll try and show you. This is like the least attractive I think I've felt in my whole entire life. But yeah, can you see there? Oh, I'm so bloated, it hurts. Yeah, a fly likes my face. I feel like smell. Oh. Glamour and rally don't go in hand in hand. But I feel like I'm dying and had the worst day possible although it was going really well until the last 100k were like serious boost to dig deep but I came in 25th so I actually did really good and 48 degrees was the peak riding temperature from the uh, what I've been told so far so it's hot oh Book and men's time again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages of amends. Takes like a good half an hour each evening. Um, I've also had a shower. I look a little, a lot more human again. Uh, I did a poo. Got to give you that update. Rally life. Washed my kit. Sorted out my camelback. Put my tailwind in. All my protein bars and gels for tomorrow. Fueled my bike up. Um, checked through all my bike with the guys, mechanics wise is happy, I've got a new desert race Michelin tyre and moose gone on the back for tomorrow because uh, I wore my first one out. What else have I been up to? Put my tent up, pretty important. So I'm going to finish up my amends and then it will be dinner time. Another pretty spectacular dinner. So one of the things Gert says about his rallies is that we're all on holiday. So why would you want shit food on holiday, which means he always makes sure there is amazing food in the bivouac. I'm, uh, I'm not convinced that my body feels like it's on holiday. I think it feels like it's in some kind of abuse chamber. <laughs> Being abused. I'm going to eat my food. <laughs>